All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel today. I'm in the house with the Mackie capsule, Zirk, right over here in the Mackie Hey Dust Project capsule over there for a quick comparison review, but hey, don't forget to like this video. And you know what, if you're in a good mood, if you like my videos, if you are wanting to support my channel, why don't you subscribe to the channel? It's gonna be fantastic, it's free, it's fun. You're gonna see some amazing videos, just do it. Let's go ahead and start with these two guys uh, are really, really similar indeed. I mean, the overall um, design is the same. you got, uh, of course, the Hate Dust Project graphic going on on this side. And here you got just the Mackie uh, logo on the other side. Uh, you got Maki Studio up here and uh, CP2, but here you got in the Zirk, you just got CP2 because that's the version, the first version of this uh, uh, toy, uh, which uh, um, went to a little bit of changes, I have to say. So for example, open it up like that uh, and you can see uh, right away some uh, differences like for example check the pin you see in the version one you got a smaller pin and uh, it's uh, it widened up and also the track of course widened up um, this guy has a new hole right in the middle of the track and there's an extra screw which I placed there so that's like a limiter so if you don't want to use the last uh, um, couple of magnets you just put the screw like this guy you put screw it in right over there and you're done you're gonna have a, like a shorter run for the uh, magnetic part so that's gonna be mainly the first uh, indication of the new version which by the way can't be really used on this one you see that there's no way this is too wide doesn't go inside the uh, this track but this guy the old version absolutely works nicely with the new one so keep that in mind um, and then you've got uh, uh, like uh, of course as you can see from this side uh, beside the fact that this is Zirk and uh, uh, brass and this is Cooper nickel and steel uh, you got you see these two uh, screws which are basically limiting the height as you can see right there so here I left it like that so you can see where it uh, uh, reaches and like that it just goes a little bit less further so that's just like a, an option you got on the side on the back uh, you're pretty much getting the same thing um, so what is also gonna be uh, different is gonna be the sound check this out this is the sound of the zero let's just do it right there and this is, so let's do like that, side to side. So Cupronickel, the back. It's a little bit louder on the, on the Zirk. Uh, and uh, the uh, magnetic side, it's pretty, pretty similar, I would say. Not many difference uh, uh, in the sound. Um, the feel, I have to say it's nicer on the Zirk. The Zirk is always my favorite. I don't know why. Um, the magnets feels um, a little bit weaker and I and I appreciate that. This is also brand new, so maybe has to, to wear it in a little bit more. Let's also check uh, uh, the weight because this guy has a little bit more heft to it. Uh, but let's be more precise uh, and let's do that in ounces. Uh, that's going to be like 4.09 for the hate dust and uh, 3.62 for the uh, Zirk. So a little bit of uh, heavy, uh, heavier weight to the, um, um, the Cooper Nickel. Also, uh, you can notice from this perspective that this guy is uh, made, they're both limited edition, but this is the, the Cooper Nickel Hate Dust is made in 249 and this is the number 198. Uh, this guy is made one, has 100 of these made and this is number 87. So, uh, of course, more precious, more rare and my favorite, it's gonna be the Zirk uh, for me, but they are both pretty, pretty cool uh, toys indeed. Uh, really, really love them. Uh, it's so it's a pretty cool one and this is staying in my collection for a for a little more this one it's probably gonna go because i don't need to and zirk is the king so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and stay tuned